this point was reinforced by submissions by Ms. Tamburu. They maintained that the proposed Churchship would greatly prejudice the accused person. Ms. Taundieki similarly indicated that the proposed amendment would greatly change the form of the particulars of the charge and spread judicial to the accused person. He called for the rejection of the application. Mr. Simon Buru submitted further that the prosecution has not informed the court the defect in the present chargeship either in form or substance. He asked that, noting that nothing has been demonstrated to the court to warrant the court to exercise its discretion in favor of the prosecution. He too called for the rejection of the application. Mr. Omwenga, the learned prosecutor, reiterated this application on rejoinder. This is the termination. Let me begin by citing section 214 of the CPC with which the application is heavily premised. Section 214 provides as follows. Where at any stage of a trial before close of the case for the prosecution it appears to the court that the charge sheet is defective, either in substance or form, the court may make such order for the alteration of the charge, either by way of amendment of the charge or by substitution or addition of a new charge, as the court thinks necessary to meet the circumstance of the case, provided that, one, where the charge sheet is so altered the court shall thereupon call upon the accused person to plead to the charge so altered. And two, where... And the health CS, so that now...